Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics back with the second video in our little mini series of uh, notions that help us achieve that perfect quarter inch seam allowance. We know that's what we're all after. That is what is going to get us to our blocks measuring what they're supposed to measure and all of our points coming out just as we'd like. In our first video, I introduced you to the diagonal seam tape by Cluck Cluck Sew. And what we're going to be covering today could absolutely be used in conjunction with that if you wish. No need to remove that off of your machine if you're already using that product. But I'll just be uh, talking about a new, a new product to us, I think it's been on the in, out in the industry for a while, called uh, the Seam Guide. It's called by Guidelines, a really cool product. Now you can buy the Seam Guide Setter, which we're gonna talk about here, which comes with multiple uh, of these units here, and there's an adhesive on the back. Let me first talk about a scant quarter. We didn't talk about that in our first video, but it is definitely something that you may have heard. Maybe you sew with a scant quarter. What does that mean? There's a quarter inch, which is exactly a quarter of an inch. And then there's something called the scant, which is just under that. And it's elusive at best. What is just under a quarter of an inch? But sometimes, especially when we're sewing with bulkier fabric, such as flannel, I've got some flannel here, we know that this fabric, especially when we sew this with right sides together, and then we press that, especially if we're going to press all the seams to one side, that's taking up some space. Our thread takes up space. Sometimes if we sew with a quarter inch seam allowance on flannel and we're pressing our seams to one side, our blocks are coming out too small. And that's where people sometimes want to sew with a scant quarter inch seam allowance. So the seam guide setter does just that. Now we're gonna come over to the machine and I wanna show you how to work with this incredible tool. Um, I am finding incredible accuracy with this. So I definitely wanna show you how it works. And I love that you can buy the refill packs. There's, I believe, six in here, a six pack. You only need to be able to, you only need to buy the seam guide setter just the one time and you'll be able to buy those refill packs as you wish. So join me over at the sewing machine and I'll show you how to install this. And we're gonna sew a quarter, a scant quarter inch seam allowance, this time with flannel. We're gonna press that seam and we'll do a measurement check to see how our tool helped us to achieve that perfect quarter inch seam allowance. So the first step in setting this, and this is included in the instruction, these are the, the seam guide, they're called guidelines. Now they're, they're stacked here and there's, it's not sticky, but I can remove this and it is sticky and I can remove the next one. These are layered. The first step is to, is to put that right in there and then flip this over and we're going to remove that. We wanna hook this around our needle. So I'm gonna drop my needle, but I'm gonna raise that presser foot so it's out of the way. Now my goal here is to, is to line everything up as parallel. I'm using the lines on my machine. I'm using any reference points that I can. I can see obviously that's not right, right? So you're doing everything you can to be running parallel with the lines on your table, maybe on your throat plate, to be everything lined up. Once you believe you're there, you're going to press this down. And now I remove this. The really cool thing about this, now this has a little ledge here. I like that I can ride my fabric right along here. Let's say I want a bigger fence, gate, I guess I'd call it. With another one of these, I can simply stack it right on top and I have an even bigger fence, an even larger barrier that I'm not gonna exceed that when I'm sewing. All right, I've got my flannel. I am going to sew right along that 
fence, not going over or shy. And then we're gonna take a measurement check after I do, a, do some pressing. Okay, I'm gonna press my seams to the side. Let's say we're doing four patch. Warm up that seam so it's going to listen to what you want it to do. <laughs> and let's press that. You wanna fully press it. I like to finger press that, especially flannel. Can be easily distorted. I feel confident that if I sewed this with a regular quarter inch seam allowance, because of this, this is a measurement, right? This turn is a measurement. I would have been short. Let's take a check with our four and a half inch by 18 and a half inch and see how we did though. And look at that. That's incredible. That's what a scant quarter inch will do for you. You're now measuring true. If I had not sewn with a scant, as I suspected, with flannel, I uh, potentially would have come up short. Something I want to mention to you, things like batik that are sheeting, they're very thin. Sewing with a scant quarter is going to probably make your piecing too big. Here's the great news. You can go back over to your seam guide and move that anywhere you want. If you're like, no, I'm sewing with batik now, you're just gonna scoot that over to line up with a true quarter inch seam allowance. Maybe you're not gonna use the setter for that because the setter is all about a scant quarter. But you can see that this creates a wonderful ridge for you to be sewing right along. It's just a great aid. Okay, so we are definitely dialing in, getting much closer to achieving those perfect quarter inch seam allowances. I will see you on our third video in the series where I have yet another tool that's gonna help us get that perfect quarter inch seam allowance and our blocks are gonna be better than they've ever been before. I'll see you there.